an article by Pyro and Manny, A Theory of Fire Setting in Children and Adolescents. The author suggested that fire setting should be studied as a legitimate problem in its own right. And here we can see the problem is the capitalization, right? So here we have the quotation marks, which means this is a um, part of a larger work, maybe a chapter in a book, or in this case, an article inside of a journal. And we should be using the capitalization that is the same as the capitalization of the article. So in this case, it's pretty easy. You just go look at the journal, look at the article, and see how did they capitalize. They did not capitalize in. They did not capitalize and. They did not capitalize of. Therefore, I will also not capitalize it. The author suggests that Freudian slips can be a symptom of neurological disorder. So this is a, a noun phrase, it's a thing, it's a, it's a thing that we use to describe what people do. It's a Freudian slip. But this is a name, and it's a name of a person, but it's also a name of this slip. It doesn't matter, because Freud is a name, we capitalize it. The theory of intrinsic job satisfaction of Hockman and Oldman describes principles of job redesign. So in this case, the theory, it's a theory, but would you capitalize it? And the answer is no. The theory of intrinsic job satisfaction and made by these people here. We have not said that theories automatically get capitalized. Now, if a person's name is in that, <clears throat> you may capitalize it because it's a name, but in this case, just because it's a theory, you do not capitalize it. A Sony 2400 portable video camera was used to record the nonverbal behaviors of students in the love lie and used ear lie conditions. So it's a little bit complicated sentence, but it doesn't matter because the main point we're looking at is up here. It's a video camera. It's the name of the camera. Therefore, it's a product. And the product uh, is a trade name, Sony, in this case, company name, trade name, product name, that gets capitalized. Again, you can check the company's product page to check on their capitalization because some products actually have kind of weird capitalization like iPhone. Kelly, in his article in The American Psychologist, described three dimensions of casual attribution. So in this case, what's the difference? You can see the difference is right here. What have we done? We have italicized, that is writing the words at that angle, that I italicized, the name of the journal or the magazine or the book. So those names need to be italicized because it's the name of a journal or book. Remember, we talked a couple units back that if you cannot italicize, what else can you do? You could underline. If you underlined, that would be the same as using italics. That would tell us this is the title of an article or a chapter inside of a larger work. Fabricated legal descriptions called case facts were presented to mock juries. However, case facts were not presented to shadow juries. So again, we've covered this in a previous unit, so a little bit of review here, but that's okay. We're looking at this use of the italics. So here, case facts, and here, case facts. Now remember, we said that if you use the italics, it's the same as using the underline when you're talking about titles of books or chapters. But inside the text, it's the same as using the quotation marks, right? And in fact, we had a name for this. We called it the air quotes. The air quotes, meaning that you put the quotations around it. Often we think of air quotes this way when you use your fingers, right? Uh, this is my friend, and he is very smart. So when you talk to him, remember that he is smart. 
and he's a very smart guy. So if you say that, you're trying to say that smart doesn't really mean smart, it means something else, right? And we call those air quotes. So what do we do in this case? Well, in this case, it's not that hard to figure out. What we have is the name of a book or the name of a journal, in this case, a journal. So journals here we can italicize. But what about this case here? Well, do we really mean that case facts is something special? Yes, because you look, if you look here, we called it case facts. Called case facts. That means it's not really case facts. It's a kind of a, a label. We gave it that name. Okay, that's all right. We can go ahead and we can say that this is case facts. It's not really facts of the case. It's a name I gave to it, case facts. So it is air quotes. But in that case, we're going to remember that you do it once, but not again. So the first time I'm telling you, this does not really mean facts of the case. It's a name I made up and I called it case facts. And then here I'm going to say it again, but this time I'm not going to italicize it or make it special because I hope you already understand. I told you here that this is a special word that is kind of like a name or a label. So I do not need to repeat it. So in this example, this is wrong to repeat that italics or air quotes there. Children who were low achievers and had low socioeconomic status were rated significantly less competent by their teachers. And here we have an F score of 2 with degrees of freedom 14. The F, well, the F score is for the two groups and the 14 uh, sample size 7.47 for the F number. And that is a p-value of 0.001 or smaller than. Okay, no big deal, right? Well, very simple. There's just one thing missing here, and that is the F, because the F we're going to italicize. And again, it's a little bit of a review, but just a reminder for you. Adults who were sensitive to NACL were also more likely to have hypertension. And so here we have a chemical, and for the chemical, we're going to go ahead and use italics. Genetic theories of psychopathology, such as the diathesis stress model, suggest that psycho, uh, schizophrenia, sorry, schizophrenia may be predisposed by genetic structures, but will not appear without a stressful environment. And here we can see the without is italicized as if it means something special or something unusual. It doesn't really mean without, it has some kind of special meaning. But we don't want to do that because without is very clear. It means without this stressful environment. So you do not italicize that because the reader would be confused. What do you mean without? Do you mean it's sometimes without, sometimes not without? I understand that you would want to do this. Some people want to do this to make it stressed, to say this is the key point. This is a really important or this is a special case or this is hard to understand. So I'm trying to make you understand it a little bit easier, help you a little bit more. But no that confuses because it makes it sound like it's a special word, and it's not.